Hi there. Today we're going to talk about multiplying multi-digit numbers. The I can statement is I can fluently multiply multi-digit whole numbers. So for our example, I just break it down into the steps. Um, step one, multiply by the ones digit. So you want to make sure your numbers are aligned by place value right on top of each other so you don't get confused. And then you're going to start with the three in your ones place and you're going to multiply it by 438. So you're really doing the problem three times 438. So three times eight is 24. Write the four below eight and three and then carry the two. Then you're doing three times three, which is nine, and then adding the two. So nine plus two is 11. So I'll write my one here and my 10 there. Four times, or three times four is 12, plus one is 13. Okay, so that's step one. You've multiplied your ones by 438, and the answer is 1,314. So next step, I'm basically taking what I wrote here and moving it over so I can show you the next step because the next step we're going to use the five, the number in our tens place here, and multiply it by each of these numbers. So first I need a placeholder down here. Then I do five times eight is 40. So I'll write the zero down here and carry the four. Five times three is 15 plus four is 19. So I'll write the nine, carry the one. Five times four is 20 plus one is 21. So that answer, 50, right? Because this is more than five, it's worth 50. 50 times 438 is 21,900. Okay, so now I'm gonna move all this over here. This is exactly where we are to do the next step. And I'm gonna multiply the hundreds. I have 200 here multiplied by 438. So I need two zero placeholders. 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, so 200 times 438 is 87,600. Your last step, I just moved this over here so I could explain it. Your last step is to add these partial products. So 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, 3, 9, and 6 is 18, 3, 10, so your final answer is 110,814. Go ahead and try the practice problems on this page and then scan the QR code and we'll go over them.